turtles are rarely quick, even when racing to the ocean. And this bunch is particularly slow. These animals have been injured and healed. The ceremony is their long-awaited release. It's organized once a year. The small turtles we release from Kendwa Beach so that they have the opportunity to walk back into the ocean and that way they remember where they, where they were born and in 20 years' time, hopefully, they come back and the whole process starts again. One of the top threats to turtles is plastic. With their bad eyesight, turtles often swallow plastic, mistaking it for food, and eventually they die. They're also cut in fishing nets or are poached. But Zanzibar residents have been increasingly caring with the animals. The fishermen now bring in the turtles to the aquarium. So if they are unfortunately caught in their nets, they now bring them in so that they can be nurtured back to health. Turtles attract tourists, which means more jobs and income to local businesses. They also eat algae, which can be invasive, and they eat jellyfish, which have proliferated across the world in recent years. Whatever the reason for appreciating turtles, there are always people thrilled to bring them back into the wild. <laughs>